today I will talk about science, technology, and society, and national development. And for national development, we, the Philippines, we often boast of our ecotourism. Being an archipelago, we have so many islands and so many wonderful places to go to. And one of the best places to go is Bohol. And when I was in Bohol, yeah, there, it's a very beautiful place. They also have uh, uh, this boat cruise, a restaurant which cruises the river, and uh, it's really very nice. And when you travel throughout the Philippines, you can also uh, go into food trips, and one of the best ways is to go through this uh, cruise uh, boat. Yeah. And one of the delicacies in the Philippines are our cone snails. Yeah. So as a biologist, uh, you, you have added eyes whenever you go around the Philippines. You just, you're not just an ordinary tourist, but you, you have an added eyes. Uh, you, you're, lo you're always looking for something which you can tap as our, uh, for our national products. Th those are the cone snails. So um, these cone snails was tapped and still continuing to study by a famous sci Filipino scientist, Dr. Uh, Baldomero Oliveira. Yeah. And he discovered uh, conotoxins. This is Dr. Baldomero uh, Oliveira. He discovered conotoxins from Philippine snails. He grew up in Mindanao and as a growing boy, he, he was collecting cone snails because they were very diverse and they have very beautiful patterns. So um, from uh, the cone snails, he extracted uh, different proteins, different pro molecules from, the cone, from a cone snail, and they injected them into mice. And uh, these are the different reactions which were elicited from the mice. Paralysis, twisted, jumping, circular motion, head swinging, and so on. But uh, he had a thesis student named Michael McIntosh, and he was very interested to study conus magus. And proteins from this conus magus also elicited so many reactions from uh, the mice when they were injected. And those, these are, uh, each peak represents a protein, and uh, these are the effects, my, my shaking, and he chose the protein or the molecule which uh, elicits shaking in mice. Yeah. And now that, that molecule, which is now called prial. Okay? So we'll talk more about prial and why it is called prial. Yeah. Prial is the drug now derived from that cone snail, and it paralyzes fish by blocking calcium channels at a motor synapse. Okay? This means that. Uh, the, once you inject that, uh, that prial into fish, they become paralyzed. Their, their swimming or movement of muscle is triggered by electrical signals from their nerve cells, but this is blocked by prial. So how does this happen? So let's uh, zoom in into the muscle of a fish, into their nerves, and that's the nerve ending. So whenever uh, a fish swims, it's because of electrical signals from the, from the nerve cells, from the nerves. But when prialt is injected, okay, when prialt is injected, the calcium channels are blocked. Okay? When, once the calcium channels are blocked, the cascade of chemical reactions which elicits movement is paralyzed, is stopped. Hence, your, your prialt paralyzes the fish because it plugs these calcium channels. So in the presence of prial, the calcium channels are blocked. So the cascade of reactions in order for the move to fish are blocked. So the fish is paralyzed. So uh, in the end, there is no electric signals. Hence, the fish is paralyzed. There is paralysis. Okay. So after, when they observed this in fish, the next thing they did was to uh, inject prial in mice and they concluded that prial blocks pain signaling in mice. How, does, how did this happen? So what happened was when they injected uh, prial into the mice, the mice was not uh, paralyzed, uh, unlike the fish. 
That's because the calcium channels in the mouse muscle are resistant to the prial, meaning they cannot plug the calcium channels sa muscles ng mice. Pero sa muscles ng fish, pwede siyang ma-plug. So, nagtaka sila, bakit hindi napaparalyze yung mouse, pero napaparalyze yung fish? Kasi yung prial, hindi niya ma-plug yung calcium channels sa, sa mouse, pero sa fish, na-plug niya. Okay. So, they did more experiments and then, um, yeah. so signaling is not blocked by prial, therefore there is no paralysis of muscles in mice and therefore also in humans. But when they did more experiments, they found out that prial can plug the calcium channels in the nerve cells, in the spinal cord of mice and humans. Okay. And when prior block calcium channel signal, that means that the signal does not reach your brain. Therefore, you cannot perceive pain. Yeah. So prior is an analgesic for humans, but deadly toxin for fish. So ang ibig sabi nito. So in uh, so in summary, uh, when you inject the fish with prior, it can block the calcium channels sa muscles niya, kaya napaparalyze siya. Para, pero pag in-inject mo siya sa mice, yung prial, hindi niya ma-block yung calcium channels. So, hindi napaparalyze yung mice. Pero, yun pala, yung prial, hindi nga niya ma-block yung calcium channels sa muscles ng mice, pero kaya niyang i-block yung calcium channels doon sa, doon sa spinal curve, cord, doon sa nerve endings. That's why, pag na-block yun, then you cannot perceive pain. So now it's now an alternative to uh, morphine. It's now a pain reliever. So uh, why is this so important that it's a pain reliever? Because there, there are so many debilitating diseases now and uh, which, uh, uh, which entails so much pain, extreme pain. And patients, they, uh, they are treated with morphine. But what's the problem with morphine? It's a narcotic, so it's, it's, it's addictive. But in the case of uh, prial, it's just a short protein. It's, it's made up of 25 amino acid. Okay? It's a very short uh, protein. This shortness means that, uh, and simple structure means that this can be uh, synthesized in the lab. So you can mass produce it in the lab synthetically without harvesting all the cone snails and extracting them and marketing them. Okay, so we get uh, a very good product and then uh, at the same time, we uh, conserve the source, which are the cone snails. Okay. So prior means primary alternative to morphine. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng prior. Yeah. So this is Michael McIntosh when he was an undergrad, when he started his uh, thesis. And now uh, by the time that the prior was marketed, uh, then, uh, around 20 years later, uh, this is how he looks now, okay? So, uh, that is just what, from Conus Magus, yung, yung prial. But, um, we have so much diversity in our marine resources in the Philippines, and cone snails are just one of the many riches in our seas. And cone snails, they are actually 700 cone snail species. So if you extract them, each one of them has about 200 peptide toxins, which can be uh, tapped as useful drugs for human health. So if, if you have 700 times 200, then we have 140,000 peptides, which the Philippines can uh, benefit from if we uh, study them and market them. So you, we have thousands of potential drugs. Sadly, um, this is an issue also of brain drain because uh, Dr. Baldomero Oliveira is now based in the U.S. and Prialt is marketed by a U.S. Um, company and it, 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 it's raking in millions of dollars every year. But this study started right here in the Philippines. So um, it's, there, there's a lot of layers of issues in this uh, study. 
But uh, the good thing is Dr. Baldomero Oliveira comes here in the Philippines every now and then and collaborates with, uh, with our scientists here and uh, uh, research students here in the Philippines. So I hope that uh, um, this lesson will uh, open our eyes that uh, we have so much diversity, sa marine pa lang yan, uh, which we can tap. Uh, for national development. They can be anti, not only for pain reliever, anti-cancer, anti-HIV, so many things to do. Um, and um, just like the uh, prior, they, they can be synthesized uh, in the lab. That means uh, we should conserve our resources at the same time, not uh, uh, rape them, uh, that they become extinct. We should enrich them at the same time, tap them. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much.